In late September 1969, Family's lead singer Roger Chapman was a guest on the blind date section of The Melody Maker. This was a bit different from the usual blind dates though. Apart from reviewing a few singles and album tracks, the singer was also asked to review the first side of the Beatles' Abbey Road. This blind date took place a week before the album came out. And this particular issue of The Melody Maker was published a day after the album was released in Britain. I don't know, the Beatles are doing a humble pie now. I've heard this tune somewhere before. In the past, the Beatles have been able to borrow things and put themselves into it. This is a bit too obvious though. Maxwell doesn't make it for me. This is really a drag, because I really dig the Beatles. This is an inferior version of when I'm 64. Shall we try another track? This doesn't make it at all. They'd better turn up with something good soon. We would be warm below the storm. It's Ringo. If another group did this, it would be a complete washout. No, I can't get into this at all. Let's hear the next one. I know this one. It sounds like Coming Home by Mel Torme. Ever since their last album, the Beatles have been making records as if it's something they have to do because they are the Beatles. Maybe the whole thing has got beyond them. If this album had been by anybody else, it would have been a complete washout. The Beatles have been a major influence on the whole music scene, but I don't see them being an influence anymore. What's this? It really reminds me of someone. It has a very American sound. But nowadays lots of English groups have that sound. In fact, they could be English. Whoever it is, they're not doing much for me. The vocalist sounds a bit like Tim Buckley. Who is it? Well, Country Joe and the Fish were doing some interesting things about a year ago. But this is really weird. It's Jim Dawes and the Morrisons. I really like his lyrics. He's very strong this fellow. I don't dig him on stage but I think he comes across well on record. This sounds a bit like the Mothers of Invention. There used to be an aura about the total sound, but I don't know if I dig what they're currently doing. Their singles aren't what the doors are about. I like their old albums a lot better. This really doesn't get to me. Give it a miss. The guitar sounds a bit like Luther Grosvenor of Spooky Tooth. It sounds like a demo disc. Who is it? Griffin, well, that's a drag because I know Graham Bell, their singer. I don't think this makes it, which is a shame for Graham. Is it Otis? This is something like Lee Dorsey would do but not as good. It's a bit ordinary. Is it called Carry Me Back? It should be. Who is it? The Rascals? Really, they're trying to get into a soul bag. They started out doing some incredible things like Grooven. This sounds as if they're trying to make a 1963 colored vocal group record. And I'm afraid it doesn't make it. I haven't got a clue who this is. So many of these chicks sound the same. She's got a great voice. She reminds me of Barbara Streisand. But I don't dig this at all. some really wonky singles. Can we leave this one? Who is it? Don Patridge? Well, that's funny. I really liked Blue Eyes and Rosie. They were very honest and simple. I'd be a fool to fear the storm that's in your kiss. Who can it be? Is it the Golden Shot? Bob Monkhouse? I bet I know who this is. Des O'Connor. No, it's Jimmy Young, the disc jockey. It really is terrible. I keep expecting him to give a recipe for stewed rice at any minute. Is it the NDO trying to be groovy? Bands who try to play what they think is commercial pop never make it because that's the way they think about it. This is a good old sequence. Yes, I think I've heard this tune before. 